We move on to round four. And as you can see, things are gonna change a little bit. First things first, we need to draw an event. And because we're in the first attack stage, we draw from that deck. Oh, it's gonna be sunny again. Okay, so unfortunately we're losing one of our supplies and we're going back on the morale. And so now we do the recruiting, but we don't add any more doubt. We're just sort of stuck with the doubt that's in there. Of course, we have so much doubt in here that, yeah, exactly. So... Oh my... <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of doubt. Oh, that was awesome. So glad we drew a soldier there. Doubt goes back. And now we have a new thing. We have German infantry showing up and charging towards us, attacking us. So right now that shows four. So we go over here. Whoops, we take four of these. That was on two. And we're gonna place them here in this lower sector, sector one. And you can see here, this sector can hold a maximum of five infantry. And we have to stand them up because when they're laying down, that means they're suppressed. So we stand them up and now they're going to attack. So we roll a die for each one of them. So there's four. Oof, that was a bad, bad roll. So for any fives and sixes, those are hits. And any threes and fours are moves. And if they had rolled any ones or twos, they would have just stayed there and done nothing. So now we're gonna resolve these three hits. We have a defense of two. So we subtract that. That means only one hit goes through. And it's gonna attack our defenders here that are on the wall. For each undefended hit, we have to lose one of the people on the wall in the leftmost position. So they're gonna become injured. And anytime someone becomes injured, you have to roll a die for them. Okay, that was a good roll, a five. And if you can, you're gonna put them in one of these three beds that's open. So all of our beds are open right now and we put them in whatever number we rolled. The higher is the better because they're gonna slowly heal by moving up until they move off of this track, in which case they're fully healed. So this guy didn't get that injured. These then move back. And now we resolve the moves. This guy is just gonna move up to the next sector. They're kind of charging forward. And if they ever get to this charge box, they'll just automatically injure one of our uh, people that are on the wall. And there we go. That's how we're gonna be resolving the event phase during this first attack stage. Okay, we now get to do our morning phase just as normal. They move over to ready. We have five supplies, but again, they're only activating three of our defenders per use. I still think we want to use two of them. So we'll go down to three supply. We should be getting some more supplies relatively soon. And let's go ahead and activate three and three. And we'll just let that person rest. Okay, I think I want to put another soldier there. Then have my soldier and the captain fire. I want someone on the map room. I also want maybe some supply runs. We're in, we're, we're, we have good weather. In fact, maybe I want to send like that. They can shovel. Maybe we just do two shovelings. I like that. I think that's good. Let's try that out. Okay, so now the first thing we get to do is to defend the walls. So for each of our defenders here on the wall, we can roll a die. And I think, actually, it does matter. So we have to do, we have to do it one at a time. So let's start with that guy. Okay, he rolled a one. A one through three means that they suppress. 
And if you look here, you can look at the hit range. So because they're a soldier, they could suppress either this person or any of these. Let's go ahead and suppress the one back there. Okay, we'll move to the second guy. Okay, they rolled a five, which means they actually get to hit again on either side. Let's just hit and they go away. Third guy also hits. And the reason we had to do this one at a time is this volunteer can only attack that person. Oh, but they rolled a four, which is a hit. So they're gone too. Amazing. You can see why it's so important to have these, uh, these defenders here. So now we move on. We're going to fire the artillery. We're going to get one shot. And I was thinking about maybe attacking these infantries. You can see here, you can attack this infantry sector, hit two of the, of the infantry units in one of the sectors. You have to pick one of the sectors. And then you get to suppress the rest. Obviously, we don't need to do that here. We've, we've taken care of them. We could attack the airfield again. But actually, I would like to attack the map because I want to get rid of that patrol right there. So because we have one of those showing, we can only take out one. They go away. Back into the bag. And now we have to roll for jamming. And the number that we need to roll depends on which row we're attacking, because you can only attack one of these rows. Shows right there, we need a five or higher in order to avoid a jam. And we rolled under, so we got to jam another part. At least we can still use it again, but the next time it's going to be fully jammed up, we might have to start repairing this. And there we go, these guys get tired. Keep in mind that these guys stay on the wall, right? They don't get tired and move off. Okay, it's supply run time. The cool thing is we've cleared the path now for those guys that are bringing back uh, the supplies. Up to six movement, but minus one because they're holding the supplies except for the hunter. They ignore that penalty, so they can actually make it all the way home. So we're going to get a morale, increase suspicion, two supplies, and then whatever our bonus is, which is another morale. That other guy can only move five spaces, so he can just quite not make it. And then these guys can move six. So I think let's have this guy go all the way up there. And this one's going to come over here. Okay, not bad. All this good weather has really helped us. Um, okay, before we shovel the snow, let's do the map room. We're going to look at the top three. Okay, we could add two miss tokens. Man, getting a second gun sounds pretty cool. Although I kind of like this hidden tools a little bit better. Yeah, we're going to ignore the second gun. Oops, I put that in the wrong order. Like that. Then we can reduce the snow by two. And now we're getting two snows. One, two. And we draw the tile. And in this case, we just get to repair one damaged tile. And actually, I don't think we can use this for unjamming, now that I think about it. So let's maybe just get our medicine cabinet. Yeah, that's going to come in real handy. And then this we just discard. And now we don't have anyone working in the infirmary healing, but because we have someone who's injured, we have to now resolve the relapse and recovery phase. So after we were done taking any healing actions, Anyone who's in this waiting area. And the reason someone would be here is because all the beds were filled up. When that happens, all of your other injured people just pile up into the waiting area. Very, very bad because they're not being treated there. And so everyone there during the relapse moves down one space. 
And if they ever get below one, boom, they're dead. They go to the morgue. So after you do that, you then get to do recovery, which is everyone who's in a bed gets one better. They heal a little bit because they're being treated. And so this guy, boom, he moves up. He's off the board. He's been fully healed. And he goes back here into our tired area. And so that happens automatically at the end of the infirmary phase. Now, one of the things that the medicine cabinet does is if we put someone here, not only can we fully heal someone who's in one of these beds, but we can also ignore the relapse. So the people in the waiting area won't get worse. That's gonna allow us to keep some people alive here when you know things really start getting bad. Okay, once again, these uh, morale modifiers don't apply, but you can see here this last one, we would lose a morale if we had any uh, infantry in a red sector. So you can see here, sector two is red. So if we hadn't been able to kill that person there, then we would have lost one morale. But we cleared that area out, so our morale stays. And once again, we're at plus two morale, so we're, we're doing very well with the morale. We're gonna get to draw three cards and resolve two. It's becoming a habit. But now we're in the first attack stage, so we might be getting some better stuff. Let's see. Okay, no, it looks like still we're, we're just doing the top uh, result there. So we can just gain a supply, always good. Oh, we can move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. That's more valuable now, now that it costs a little bit more supply to get them up and going. Ooh, or we could add two new uh, uh, volunteer recruits to the recruit bag. Ooh, you know, that recruit bag is in bad shape. I don't think we want to do that, so let's put that one back. Let's gain a supply. So now we're at six supplies. And we'll just move two of these to the ready area which will in effect save us from some spending some supplies. So that's good. Zoop, goes back to zero. Don't have to worry about any of that. There's nothing to resolve on the fourth day. So we just move right on to the fifth day. Okay, cloudy, not too bad. Add two despair cards to the high morale deck. So you can see here we have the despair cards. These are just bad cards that kind of gunk up the high morale deck. So the high morale deck became a little bit worse. That's a shame. Okay, we're gonna get our recruiting. Oh, man, if we get lucky and we draw two, that would be, oh my goodness. You know what? I'm stopping. <laughs> that was a really lucky recruit considering we have so much uh, doubt in there. We have five infantry coming. And remember, this bottom spot can only hold five. And the suppressed guy counts. So this one immediately goes up to sector two. And then they're going to attack. Now we ignore the suppressed one. So this is just for the bottom. Ooh, better roll. These twos are nothing. The fours are just moves. So no hits. And then we roll for that guy, three. So just a move. Uh, there's no hits. We stand up our uh, suppressed person. He just wakes up and just stays there, does nothing. This person moves into the charge area. These two move up here. And this charge guy, boom, he comes in here, he attacks, he goes away. But then we also lose our leftmost person on the wall. And they're slightly more injured this time with a three. And that was the infantry attacks phase. Okay, that could have gone better and it could have gone worse. Not complaining. This person comes in. Okay, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to spend one of our supply to get three healed. Or readied, I mean. 
And we're then going to use one of our morale. We're going to lose a morale in order to activate two more. And we're just going to bring everyone over. We're going to be getting some morale from this guy coming home. So I think we'll be okay with the morale. Let's map room it again. We want to fire. We want to restock. I want to repair. I think I want to send out someone on patrol. That soldier is probably just going to go out there to try to attack some of the pieces on the board rather than bringing in uh, supplies, but maybe they'll, maybe they will. I don't know. Maybe I'll promote. Maybe I'll promote. Maybe we want a medicine cabinet just to heal that guy. Otherwise, he's going to take a little while to get back. And then they can just do a repair. Okay. Okay. I think that seems pretty decent. Okay, let's defend the walls. We'll, um... We'll just roll for the three soldiers. Ooh. Terrible. Just a bunch of suppressing. Let's go one, two, three... And then, ah, oh, two, just suppress. Wow. Didn't love that, that's for sure. We're firing the artillery. Now the question is, do we want to take these guys out? Yeah, let's take those guys out. I know they're suppressed, but, or we could take them out back here. A little bit of a safer shot, but then we lose the morale if they're there, so. Mm. Now let's attack back here. We'll take the morale hit, but I think this will be better. So, when we attack the infantry sector, we get to remove two, and then suppress the rest. And now we're rolling for a jam, and we just need anything but a one or a two. Oh no! Oh, terrible rolling! We've jammed up our gun completely. That's unfortunate. But, we have some good supply action happening. This person's coming home. That's going to be a morale, plus an extra morale. Suspicion. And two supply. Because it's cloudy, it can move up to five. And again, he's not restricted by uh, the carrying. This guy is, though, so he can only move four. So he can't quite make it. And this guy can move up to five. I'm going to have him go one, two, three. And he's going to enter the location where the patrol is. And at that point, we have a couple of options. We could just stop our movement, do nothing else, and just stop in that space. If we did that, our suspicion marker would move down and they would just stop their movement. Alternatively, he could try to sneak past this patrol. He has one more movement left, so he could just try to sneak past so he can continue on. And in that case, you would just roll the d6. If you roll higher than the suspicion level, you sneak past no problem. If you roll equal to or lower than the suspicion level, then you're caught. The defender goes to the reserve, out of play. The token also gets put back into the patrol bag, so the token, the patrol token goes away as well and you lower the suspicion by two. However, if you succeed in sneaking past, you increase the suspicion by one. And the last thing you can do, and only soldiers can do this, is you can actually fight. You can try to fight and take out that patrol. You return the token to the patrol bag. You roll a die. Once again, you're just doing a suspicion check, just like you did for sneaking. If you roll higher, then nothing happens, and the suspicion goes up one. If you roll equal to or lower, then the defender is injured. So you roll for injury, they go into the infirmary, and you lower the suspicion by two. So those are the options that we now face. Also keep in mind that defenders cannot end their movement on the same space as each other. And you can only carry one uh, of these tokens at a time, these supply tokens. So I think we actually just want to stop there and do nothing and just... Lower the suspicion by one. Okay, excellent. We now come here. We're going to unjam that part of our gun. 
we do this promote. So this volunteer becomes a soldier. And boom, we got the map room. Let's see here. Field telephone, the second gun, or steel plates. Yeah, the field telephone is fun. Let's um, put that in front. And then we can dig twice. One, two. We get it out. And now we're activating the medicine cabinet, so we can just heal this person right away. Awesome. We come through here, and we do have infantry in a red sector, so we lose one morale. You only lose one. You don't lose one for each. So our morale ended up uh, dead even, no problem. We're going to check down here. We got to add three patrols. Wow. And because we're in the first attack phase, we're actually going to be adding them to the second row there. One. <laughs> One again. And six. Well, we cleared out those uh, supply depots just in time. Now we're on to round six. Sunny again. We've had a lot of sunny weather. Remove one delivery token from each of the leftmost two open supply depots. Well, we only have the one. That definitely could have been worse. I don't mind that. Now for our pathetic recruiting. Okay. Doubt token immediately. <laughs> uh, there we go. These go back in. We have a lot of these hunters. Okay, looks like only four infantry. Everyone else is suppressed. Oh, wow. That's a lot of hits. Man, we have not been rolling good for the infantry, have we? One move, three hits. We only have a defense of two, so they're going to get injured. This one's moving up. Let's roll for injury. Four. That's not too bad. Okay. Oh, and then these guys stand up, of course. I think we definitely want to spend two supplies. That'll give us six of these workers, or defenders. I always call them workers. Yeah, we have a bunch more supplies coming, so let's go ahead and spend one more supply. One, two, three. This one can rest. Okay. And we have a lot to do. I think I really want to take some of these people out. Let's go onto the field telephone. That's going to give us a plus one on each of our die rolls um, for our people on the walls. We definitely want to fire the gun. We have a medic, they might as well do that. We have a map room, we might as well do that. Let's have one person digging snow. Let's get some repairs because we'll probably jam our gun. And then I suppose bolster. Ah, the problem with that is then no one's on this wall right there. Yeah, we can't do that. We could not worry about the snow. The other thing is... It's sunny again. Do we want to try to get a supply run going? I think we definitely want someone on the wall. 
Maybe we don't need the map room right now. Yeah, we're one short because that guy got hurt. Okay, yeah, let's not worry about the map room at the moment. We'll just do that. Okay, we get to fire. Let's um, let's do the two volunteers first. And remember, because of the field telephone, we're getting a plus one. All right, excellent. Two hits, and they have to attack this front row. Now we can roll for our two soldiers. Oh, two more hits. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Let's go bang, bang. Awesome. We're firing off the gun. Now, ooh, we could take out two of these, suppress the other. That's not bad. The only other thing I could think of is to maybe put some misses into the hit bag by attacking the airport. Although we've put quite a few misses in there. Here, let's come here. Let's just attack down here. We'll take out two, suppress the other, and now all we need to roll is a three or higher and our gun won't jam. There we go. Three or higher, we're good. Okay. Now we go to the supply run. We have two coming in. Wow, so we're getting two morale plus one. So that's three morale. Suspicion's going up by two. And we're getting two, four, five extra supplies. That gets us to nine supplies. That's really great. And then we also have that soldier out there. I was kind of hoping he could just go around lowering suspicion and maybe trying to take some of these guys out. I'm just going to have him move over, stop, and that will lower the suspicion by one. We'll try to get that suspicion nice and low so he can then go attack these guys on the board and remove some of them. We don't want the patrols to pile up because if the patrol bag ever goes empty, then we start drawing from the hit bag and bad stuff happens. Now we're coming here. Shovel snow. Okay, we could repair the field telephone, and that will let us suppress two along with getting a plus one. That's really good. Or do we sort of make our gun a little bit better? Now let's get this field telephone in shape. Okay. And then I want to bolster our defense all the way up to three. We're going to prepare for the siege that's about to come. All right, that's all good. Medicine cabinet. We can just heal this one right away. Now, unfortunately for our morale, we are on a red day. So that is going to lower our morale by one. Other than that, we're good. So it looks like we're going to get to uh, draw three high morale cards and resolve two of them. And give it another extra little shuffle here. Now, hopefully we won't draw those despair cards that are in here, but there's a good chance we will. When you draw a despair card, it has to be one of the ones that you select. It sort of forces your hand, so. Okay, we're still in first attack, so let's see. We could add a miss to the hit bag. Always good. Ooh, add two new volunteers to the recruit bag or gain a supply. Ah, I'm not sure either of those really helps us. Look at the top card of any event deck. Uh, I'm not sure that helps us either. I'm going to put this one back. Let's add a miss, because we're going to be starting to draw from this hit bag here next round. And maybe let's just gain a supply. Yeah, I think the supply will be more helpful. Ten supplies. That's great. Reset. And here we are in the sixth round, retreat. So the first thing we need to do is put German artillery units on each space marked with an artillery symbol on the yellow row on the map. There are actually three spaces here. There, there, and there. You want to take them from the left to the right. Now you're going to see in a second why those things are really terrible and uh, we're going to want to try to take them out uh, as soon as possible. The next thing we need to do is to move our supply marker to the right. So now each supply is only going to refresh two of our defenders. 
And then we also have to lower our defense by one. We're then gonna remove this board. We're gonna flip it. Oh no, we're actually just gonna get rid of it because now this is printed onto the board. This is gonna go into sector one. Anything that was on that board fills up into sector one. And then we just need to put a status token here on the machine gun. There we go, that's everything. We're moving on to round seven and we've entered siege one. So we're now gonna be drawing from that deck. Okay, it's got snowy. Remember when we go to snow, we move the snow marker to the right one space. The event says to move one of the uh, German infantry from the reserve to level one in the infirmary. Wow, so this is a really bizarre one. We're gonna take one of these and put them into level one, basically occupying one of our beds, I suppose. Let's read the flavor text on this, this is odd. We found an injured German next to the walls. We had to take him in. It was the right thing to do. Wow, amazing. I haven't seen this card before, but I guess we just have to uh, treat them as we would one of our defenders. Interesting, okay. Well, now if we look down here, you're gonna see some different symbols. One of the symbols you're not gonna see is recruiting. Recruiting is done we are sort of stuck with the defenders that we have at this point. What that plane symbol means is we take the leftmost stack of these plane tokens up here and we throw them into the hit bag. That's gonna be more bad stuff that could potentially happen to us. We now see this middle symbol. That means that we're gonna be drawing a number of tokens from the hit bag equal to whatever the number is that's exposed on the artillery track. So in this case, a five is exposed, so we're gonna have to draw five tokens. The more of those artillery units that come out, the more we're gonna be drawing during this phase every round. But also if we can take some of those artillery units out and put them back onto the track, that's gonna lower the amount that we have to draw from the hit bag. So that's gonna be um, something we're gonna wanna do real quick. And we can attack them with our own artillery or even with our units that are on the board, they can move in and attack those uh, artilleries as well. That's for another day though, cause right now we have to draw five tokens. And this is where those miss tokens that we've been putting in here are hopefully gonna help us out. So what you want to do is you want to draw five of them right away before you resolve any of them. Okay, hey, there's a miss. Ugh. Come on, another miss, another miss, another miss. Yeah, there we go. So first we're gonna look at the damage tiles that we drew. In this case, we drew the map room damage. So that's just gonna go right on there, making our map room less effective. And we also unfortunately got hit in the wall here, defensive position C. So our defender moves out, we put that damage token in and our defender gets injured. So we roll for injury. Oh no, a one. He's very injured. We then can resolve the missed tokens by just discarding them or putting them back in the reserve, I suppose. And then we can resolve the plane. It says minus one supply. So we lose a supply, which is one reason why it's nice to have a lot of them. And then this token will just go out of game. Okay, that could have been worse. That could have been worse. And now we're going to resolve infantry just like we've been doing four new ones. We'll roll for them. No sixes, no sixes. Ooh, okay, we got one six, so that's one hit. That's fine. Our defense is two, so no one's gonna get hurt. We have, wow, threes and twos, so these guys are gonna do nothing. This person will stand up, one hit, 
gets defended, and then they go back. So there we go. We got a nice lucky roll there. That's the event phase done. Morning phase, they were resting, and now, man, this is where it gets a little bit problematic. Cost us three supplies for six defenders. We're gonna definitely need more supplies. We could maybe do two supplies and a morale hit. Let's start by spending two supplies. We want our medic. And I think we just want soldiers. Yeah, let's do another supply. Because I want one heavy. And do I want our officer on the field telephone? Yeah, I kind of do. And then we'll go down one morale to grab two more soldiers. And then we'll rest. Let's rest, yeah, like that. I think that's good. I don't want to lose even more morale. I think I just want to, yeah, I want to stick it right there. Okay. And let's see here. Let's do the field telephone. We have to heal, and I mean repair. I want to heal as well. I want to do one bit of digging. I want to fire our gun. And I think I want to do another repair. Or maybe bolster. Problem with that is I would also like to um, get some more people out here on the map. I might end up regretting this, but I'm actually going to send these guys out. Because I have a plan. Ugh, it just might work. Okay, we're firing. And unfortunately, this volunteer can't help us because these guys are this far away. You can see the volunteer can only help right here. We're just going to be rolling for these two soldiers. And we got the field telephone, so we're getting plus ones. And it won't matter. That's just two suppresses. And then we get two more suppresses. Ugh. That's a disappointing result. We're firing this gun. I did not want to come down here. I still don't think I will. We're going to take out that German artillery. And if you look across here, we got to roll a five or a six or our gun jams. All right. And our gun is fully jammed. Okay, now for the supply run. We can only move four. Moving into there, stopping, and that's lowering the uh, suspicion. Okay, moving four is forced to stop, but that's also going to lower the suspicion. Coming into here, and they're going to attack the artillery. You have to pick just one thing in the space. And then we need to roll, and we need to get over the suspicion level of one. Okay, we did it. So he gets to remain, and the suspicion increases by one. Okay, perfect. Okay, fantastic. Now we're coming down here. We're going to shovel some snow. They get to do two. One, two. Reset. Flip. Steel plates. Two mistiles into the bag. That's fantastic. I think if we can control this hit bag a little bit, then we might stand a chance. Okay, now we got to do a repair. And this is where I'm wondering. I'm worried about our walls. And I'd like to repair that defensive position. But I also think having our gun available is going to be pretty important. So let's get that flipped. We're going to unjam that as our repair. I think that should be good. Okay, we're coming over here. Medicine cabinet. We can heal them. And they will get... Increase by one because of recovery. 
Okay, no morale influence whatsoever. So it looks like we are going to have to draw two low morale cards and then choose one. Let's see what we get. Now the bad thing is we are in Siege 1, so we're looking in this middle row. We can either injure one defender or draw one tile from the hit bag. Ooh. Yeah, let's draw one tile from the hit bag. Ah, which might end up injuring a defender. <laughs> oh, I don't want to risk having one of our defenders on the wall injured and have that damage. Let's just injure a defender. We can just use one of these. So this will go back. We'll roll for injury. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I think that's better. All right. Everything's looking good. We got to put out two patrols. And they're going to be going down here in this blue row because we're in Siege 1. And five again. On to round eight. Ah, snow again. Add one despair card to the high morale deck. That's unfortunate. There's three of them in there now, so the high morale deck is not going to be very helpful for us. So again, the leftmost stack of planes gets put in the hit bag. Now, we could have been attacking the airfield and removing these, so this wouldn't happen. But we didn't really make that something that we were doing. Now, we only need to draw three out of this bag, so... That's a lot better than five. Let's make sure they're really mixed up in there. And we have quite a few misses in there. We've been doing a pretty good job of that. Oh. Oh, okay, one more. Come on, miss. Miss, yeah! I keep calling out the misses because I am cheating. Okay, so we have the gun one. This is just going to go in the rightmost spot of the gun. Obviously, the miss goes away. And unfortunately, uh, our defensive position A got hit. Our wall is looking pretty battered. That is bad. Let's roll for injury. Two, also bad. And now five soldiers come out. Or uh, five German infantry. Sector one is filled, so they're all coming into sector two. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is bad. So let's first roll for this guy down here. He got a three. He's just staying put. And now we have five up here. Ooh. Okay, the five and the six are hits. Two fours are moves. And the two is nothing. So luckily we have two defense, so those two hits do nothing. Oh, by the way, these guys all stand up. Don't want to forget that. And these two move up into sector three. And they are coming to get us. Not good. Okay, morning. Well, we're definitely spending two supply to get at least four. So that leaves us with four supplies. Let's go. One, two, three, four, I guess. And then let's do a, one morale to get two more. And then... These two can rest. What I'm worried about is running out of supplies, because then you start losing morale. And if this morale comes down here, you start losing defenders. And so you have to keep this morale track in check. We don't want a round where we're just getting smashed with the, the morale. It's also because of all this snow, it's going to take us a while to bring these uh, supplies in. So I'm not sure we're going to have supplies here anytime soon. Ugh, tough. Okay. 
Repairs are desperately needed at this point. We got to get some repairs. We also... I'm getting one hit here. So we're probably going to use the machine gun, which I'll explain. Let's, let's do the field telephone as well, so we can at least suppress those two guys. We're going to hit the medicine cabinet hard. I don't think digging through the snow is very helpful at this point. Bolster. Bolstering up our defenses might be good. Or honestly, just more repair. I think either bolstering or repair. I definitely want to repair those two. If I did a third repair... Oh, wait, we need to fire the guns off. Definitely want to fire the guns off. Okay. I think we have to do that then. I think that's it. I think that's where we're going to do. This is scary. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this soldier in the B position use this machine gun. Okay, it's unjammed. They're going to roll one die, and they're either going to suppress three or hit three. The field telephone is going to help us with the machine gun. Really, a one or a two would just suppress. I don't think we can risk that. I think we have to spend, because we can also spend a supply to get a plus two on it. Let's go ahead and do that to just guarantee, no matter what we roll, we're going to get to hit three. So it doesn't matter. We're hitting three. Let's hit from down here, actually. One, two, three. And then we can suppress two. We'll suppress these two. This guy can't help us because he can only hit that row. Done. Now we're firing. This is where maybe I want to fire here. Hit those two, suppress just to keep this a little bit more under control, especially given our wall situation. Hit these two, suppress. And now we need to roll a four or greater. Nope. So we jammed our gun again. Okay, now we're in the supply run. We're just going to go up there and collect that, and hopefully we can get that back. Okay, let's do this. Go there, stop. Suspicion goes down. And we're going to attack that patrol. Anything but a one. Okay, two. It would go away regardless. It goes back into the patrol bag, and the suspicion goes up one. We got two repairs here, and mm, maybe we focus on the wall. Yeah, we got to be careful. We have to get this wall in shape, because if we start losing people off the wall, then these people will just start killing our defenders and putting them in the morgue. And that's when our morale plummets and it all goes downhill. So we're going to do those two. And hopefully they won't get re-attacked. And they'll be open. And then we can fill them and everything will be good. Okay. What it means, though, is we won't have our gun. That's okay. It'll give us more time to repair stuff. Medicine cabinet. Get this guy back. Everyone else goes up one. Okay, it's not a red day. We have supplies. No other morale modifiers come into play, but we are at minus one morale. So that's draw two and resolve one. Okay, remove one delivery token from the rightmost supply depot. Ooh. Or increase... Yeah, that's fine. We'll increase suspicion up one. Not too bad. Nothing happens, so we're moving on. Out of Siege 1, we're into Siege 2. We're getting close to the end here. Things are going to start getting pretty bad. Let's see how it goes.